Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you an example about chi-square test for homogeneous. When do we use the homogeneous test for chi-square? When we want to know if the distributions between two groups are the same. So let's look at this example from Pearson's question pool. Uh, a person at his local bank wonder if the age distribution in his bank is the same as the distribution in another branch near the mall. So he select a hundred transactions at random and analyze the data for age information. And he has the data like those. This is the summary of his data. So you are giving a contingency table. So here is the table. Okay, let's look at the questions. What is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis will always be the distributions are the same for the two group you are comparing. So we'll say the age distribution of customer at the two branches are the same. Then your alternative will be they are not the same, right? So it's easy once you set up the null hypothesis. So what type of test is this? So I would say this is a homogeneous test because we're comparing two distribution and see if they are the same. Then here it says, okay, what are the expected numbers for each cell if the null hypothesis is true. Sometimes you might wonder why does this question even bother to asking this question since we can do the chi-square test in stack crunch. But sometimes if you don't have stack crunch available, you need to do them maybe by hand. Then there will be a formula you need to use. Let me see if I can bring up my formula for you. So I'll quickly show you the formula. High school, yes. Okay. So if you want to do chi square test by hand, this is the formula you will be using to find the chi square statistic. So the O means observed value minus E means expected value squared and divided by expected value. So you want to do this for each cell. Do you look at this data? So for this data, we have an observed value, and we can also calculate this expected value. So we're calculating this just in case you need to do them by hand. Okay, but okay, let's turn back to this question. How do you find expected uh, values? Is there any way you can do this in StackCrunch? Of course, that's what StackCrunch for. So you open the table in Stack Crunch. Uh, it's kind of a slow today, so be patient. And then, if after you open up the table, if they have the totals, you're gonna delete the totals first because they give you the totals. The suppose that you're gonna calculate expected value by hand, but if you wanna do in stat crunch, you have to delete the total. So you're gonna go to stats. Since we have a contingency table, we're gonna go to tables, contingency, with summary. And now select your columns. Look at our columns. What are the columns do we have? We have uh, let me make this bigger. So a column is this one, this one, this one, three of them. So we're going to select the column, the row label. Here, this is our row label. It has nothing. So we just choose this uh, label right here. And that's all you need to do. Uh, no, one more thing, because you're looking for expected value for each cell. So under display, you're going to click on expected count. And then you compute. Here, the one outside of parentheses is the uh, observed value. And the one within the parentheses is the expected value. 
So that's how you do the expected count in StackCrunch. Okay, where's my baby? Okay, now that's why I put these numbers here. Do you see that? They're all from my parentheses. Okay, then how do you find the chi-square test? The cool thing about StackCrunch is when you do the expected value, they already give you the chi-square test. So let's look at chi-square. The value is our chi-square statistic. So here, 10.167, that's the number right here. And you also get the p-value. So the degree of freedom, the free, uh, degrees of freedom is 2. Why is that? When we have a table and then we want to do the chi-square test, our degree of freedom will be the row number minus 1. In this case, it will be 1 times the column number minus 1. So we have three columns minus one, two, and this two minus one, one, one times two, that's two. Okay. So that's why uh, the degree form is two. So you should be able to do them um, both by the formula or from the output. Okay. So with those p-values, what could we conclude? Look at this p-value. This p-value is very small. Right? If we were using 0 0.05 as the cutoff, it's smaller than the alpha value. So we're going to, small p value means evidence. Now we're going to reject H now and conclude that there is sufficient evidence that the H distribution at the two branches are not the same. Once you reject H now, means you have evidence for your alternative. Your alternative will be they're not the same, right? So uh, this is how you do the chi-square test for homogeneity in StackCrunch. So I hope uh, it helps a little bit. And thank you for watching. And see you next time.